Hello, my name is Rand. Uh, I study in Shahan School and I'm in grade 8B. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to create a website using Wix.com. Um, uh, this is my website. As you can see, I've edited some text, edited some images, and added some sections. Um, if you'd like to see your website on a mobile phone, you can press this button to see it from a perspective of a phone. As you can see, it works quite good. And I'm going to be showing you on how to create your own website today. First, you go on Wix.com and you'll be met with this page. It says, get started. You click this button. Um, if you have not created an account, uh, you can sign in by pressing this button. But I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Um, uh, Wix is a very good website uh, for cheap websites if you don't want to spend much money. It's also good for freelancers and businesses use this website quite frequently. It's used by many people and it's very popular. Um, when you log into your account, you should be met with a dashboard. It will ask you to either create a website or to edit your current website. But today we're going to be creating a website. As you can see, we're loading into the dashboard. Uh, you can see these pages on the left, home, activity, site, and app. The activity will show you the traffic on your website. The site and app will show you your sites and applications. Um, and your contacts, you will put these in your websites and applications. These will show the viewer your contacts and your information. And um, when you want to create a new website, you go on site and app. When you go on site and app, you should press website if you want to make a website, or you should, if you want to make an app, press the app button. Um, now I'm going to be creating a website. I'm going to be uh, using a template. You can press site actions and press create new site. When uh, you create a new website, it will ask you some questions about how you want your website. Like, is your website for technology? Is it a blog or a consultant? But I'm going to skip these steps. So you can uh, answer these questions if you want. But for now, we're going to skip them. You can also enter your website name. And I will not do that. I will do that later. It will also ask you what kind of features you want in your website. Um, like a chat or bookings, online stores, events. But we don't, any, we don't want any of that because we're going to be using a template. When you met with the screen, you can press begin with template or get a custom built site. Custom built site takes longer time, but it will look better for the thing that you're trying to make. A template is for a quick and easy site. I'm going to be using this site. You can either view it or edit it, but I'm going to edit it because I want this to be my site. Okay, so now we made it onto the website. As you can see, it's very different from mine. On the left hand side, you can see some uh, icons. They each have a use. There's add section, there's add elements, for example, like text and uh, pictures and videos. Um, and you can also change the existing text on the website. For example, I'm going to edit this and I'm going to also change its color and font. You press edit text when you want to edit it. And then you can see these themes, there are like presets for certain sizes and fonts. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to make it italic and I'm going to change its color to yellow. And I'm also going to change the text to say overcome instead of success. And uh, you can also add elements, I've already said that. Um, you can add text, which I'm going to add right now. I'm going to get a small title. I'm going to put it below the existing title. I'm also going to match its colors with the title. And I'm going to change the text to uh, your obstacle, so it becomes overcome 
your obstacles. As you can see, it looks uh, different and looks better in my opinion. Do you, you, you see this part? It's the header. It shows you all the information and it shows you the menu. The menu will take you to different pi uh, parts of the website. And you can also change the information. I'm going to change this to my name. As you can see, it's been changed. And this menu, when you're viewing the website, you can click on these and it will take you to other websites, other links or parts of your website. You can also manage the menu. Like this part is connected to the home. When I press home, it's gonna take me home. But be careful, if you delete these, it will also delete the page that's associated with. And now we're gonna add a section because this website is too short. There's many options and presets you can pick from, like a welcome page, an about page, a team page. But for now, I'm going to use an about page. You can also add blank pages for your own, um, so you can edit them by yourself. As you can see, it's been added. And when you scroll down, you get to see it. It's right here. And you can also add images, uh, text, and video. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just change the existing images. Uh, from this to a, I'm going to change the background of this to another, to another picture. You press on the change section background and it will show you uh, these three parts. You can color the image, put a video on it, or an uh, image. I'm going to put an image. There's many images you can get on Wix.com. There's hundreds and each in their own category. There's some that are uh, good for backgrounds, some that are good for pictures, some are good for examples. But for now, I'm going to put a mountain picture in the background of my page. You can also import pictures from your laptop onto the website. And when you picture background, you can press you can press change background. As you can see, it's changed the background. And let's go back to the header. You can also change the color of the header just like the background. You cannot add images, you can only change the color and the transparency. You can also customize it by yourself. As you can see, these are themed heads. These are uh, presets that you can pick, like these colors. I'm going to choose a light blue header. And then when you're done with your website and everything is finished, it's the way you like, you can press publish. Or if you're not done with it yet, you can press save. Uh, and then when you're done, you can press the publish button. And then it will ask you if you want to get your own domain. Like, let's say, uh, my, I want my website to be uh, watchtv.net. You can pay for that, but I'm going to use the free domain. You press save and continue, and your website is made. And you can also preview your website in the phone mode by pressing this. You can switch to mobile and see what your website looks on, on mobile. And you can also preview it, like without all the text and options. And then when your website is saved, this is the window that you will be shown and you can also edit your domain if you want um, and then you press done and then your website is published and now other people can other people can see your website and that's how you create a website uh, thanks for watching